And now we have almost all of our kids here and it's just so amazing hanging out with them. I love that so much. Neymar, are you ready to go swimming? Danielle keeps telling Neymar that uh, she's gonna take him swimming. I don't know if she realizes how cold it is. Out of the ranch, we have no power, but I just got this. It would take four car batteries to match up with the power that this thing has. That's crazy. <laughs> What happens to butter if you cook it? It melts. So what do you think is gonna happen? So what do you think I'm gonna do with this butter? Artichokes. Not artichokes. What is that? Rachel pancakes. Did it melt? Were you right? That's right, close it and we'll do a couple more seconds. Ooh, snap. I have something to show you. We have no power. No power that's connected to city. So we have solar panels, you've probably seen them before. And those solar panels, there's, I think there's 10 of them. There's a sequence of five on one, five on the other, and they just move with the sun. Francis, come check it out here. But uh, they, they charge up a bank of batteries. There are six volt, so there's, there's, Six batteries, sorry, there's eight batteries and they're six volt each and they're golf cart batteries. And so everything at the ranch is run off of that. The water pump, because we have well, the uh, all the lamps lamps for the chickens and stuff in the winter time. There's uh, the tiny home, there's the trailers that we have connected up and there's the cabin, the little small cabin with the bathroom in it and the water heater. So we always run out of power. We have a backup generator for it, which is fine. But I just got this. There's two of these actually. This is 89 pounds, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh, the side is kind of like this. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at this. This is 48. It's a lithium ion battery. This is one battery. Dang. That equals the same amount as those eight batteries. Is this is 48 volts right here. So this is one, we have two of them two 48 volt banks um, and I looked it up, I did all the research and everything and so we have 10 solar panels that follow the sun during the day and because they follow the sun they can charge up to I think four of these so with this we should be able to run what we need to at the ranch and I can get more if we need them. That's a battery. That's crazy. 48 volts right there. Wow. So your car has 12. Yeah. So it would take four car batteries to match up with the power that this thing has. That's crazy. And you got two of those. Yeah, we got, I got two, yeah. So you got, what, eight cars worth of batteries? Eight car batteries worth yeah. of battery? That's crazy. Anyway, so I hope it'll do what we need to do. Because we go out there and our tiny home can't run, uh, it, doesn't, it, it, it can't run fully because it has AC units and heaters and we just don't have enough power to, to juice it and so, Anyway, I don't know. There's a lot of other details and stuff that I read that hopefully they'll keep up with what we need. And uh, we'll go install them hopefully this week. And I don't like this. These cables are too small for what we have going out there, but we'll see. Okay, I finished my Lego set that Danielle gave me, not this last Christmas, but the Christmas before. 
and it turned out so cute. I'm always amazed at what comes out of Lego boxes. I also, building Legos gives me anxiety because I'm like, what if I get all the way done with this part and we're missing a Lego? It hasn't happened yet, knock on wood. So today, or this weekend, was general conference for our church where for Friday and, or Saturday and Sunday, we listen to our church leaders give us talks just to help continue our learning about our church and the gospel. So that's what we did today. Um, yesterday we were traveling, so we didn't listen to all of it, but the good news is that it's online and we can go back to and listen to all of the talks or read the talks anytime we want to. And now we have almost all of our kids here. And it's just so amazing hanging out with them. I love that so much. The bottom is really dirty. Wow, the bottom is so dirty. Danielle keeps telling Neymar that uh, she's gonna take him swimming in the swimming pool. I don't know if she realizes how cold it is. I think it's like maybe 63, 64, 64, 65 degrees. That's uh, warmer than the water that we were in the other day at Lake Powell. So anyway, I guess that we have the hot tub that she can go in, but that thing is so dirty right now. Time to swim. Say, Mama's getting my tutu. Mama's getting my swim suit. Neymar, are you ready to go swimming? Swimming. Swimming. You go swimming? You're so cute. Are you swimming? Can you show a kick in, Kicking, 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 kicking. Kicking, kicking. Can you kick? Like this, ready? Kick, kick, kick. Yay! Kick, kick, kick. Push up. Woohoo! Nuh-uh. Just add it so you want. If I knew how to play, I'd totally cheat right now. <laughs> so, who's uh, losing, who's winning? As is out. As is out, that means you're losing. Actually, he's losing. Really? He only has one life. Oh. Yeah, but he might take Get Yeah, didn't. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, well, here it comes. Ready, set. Ready, set. Woo! Okay, so, so on Tuesday I have school, not tomorrow, Tuesday, and I have some assignments that I need to turn in that I did not have time to finish in class. And interior design. Oh, I have cheese that spilled in my freaking bag. No! You're literally all over in my bag. <laughs> This is my assignments. I have to glue all of these papers onto this back board thingy, not back board. This is, looks very random, but I have to do this. I have to put it on like that to show a very bad use of proportion and scale and proportion. That's also bad use of proportion, how big those lights are and how little the rest of the room is. But these lights are in normal proportion lights, I think is what I got this for. But anyway, so I have to glue those all on. Anyway, so I have to do this assignment, but I, it's due, not it's due, it's overdue. I have, I, it's overdue. But I was gone. And I won't have time to do it tomorrow. I'm so busy tomorrow. So yeah, I have to get it done tonight. Okay, so I've been working on my assignment. I ran out of the glue stick though, so I am using this glue. Currently gluing this picture on. We're gonna try this out and hope it works, or else we're gonna have to go on another hunt for a glue stick. Oh, it's really sticky. And now I'm just gonna put my water bottle on it and let it sit. Anyway, so let's see. For each assignment, let's see, this one had three pages, three more pages, three more pages, so 11. So I have 11 things to glue, 11 pages to write on a lot. Anyways. Let's see if this works. It should be pretty dry by now. Oh no, it's really wet. I'm gonna hope that it dries because I have to write on this paper. Probably should not. Anyways, but I'm gonna finish my assignment. It hasn't been taking me too long. It's almost 10.45 now, so it actually has taken me a little long. But yeah, anyways, love you guys so much as always. Be right there. Bye guys. Baby!